Douglas Clark. Let's see if we can catch her off guard. Come on. All right, Jessica, you're back. Uh, back from an injury. Talk about that whole process, the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Can you share with us? Uh, I don't know if there were any highs whilst being injured. It was all, honestly, it was a pretty low point in my life, in my career. Um, I was very lucky that I had a lot of people around me to kind of keep me on the path. And since I've quit drinking, you know, I didn't refrain to alcohol, which I think helped a lot with my progression. And um, surgeon said I was healing a lot quicker than what was expected. So I think that all had a lot to do with it. But honestly, it was pretty shitty, you know, like having to relearn how to walk, having to relearn. And this wasn't even a bad injury. I can't even imagine what people who have like spinal injuries feel like because I just had a foot injury and I still had to relearn how to walk properly. I had to learn how to, I'm still learning how to run again. Um, kind of had to adjust my whole striking style, my grappling style. Like, I guess that, yeah, I don't know. It's been weird. I've had to really focus on my less dominant side in everything so that's been quite nice and eye-opening but the whole experience was kind of you have your <coughs> opponent now and it's somebody who has a win over you is that a fight that you personally requested or did it just kind of work out that way um i didn't personally request panning i actually wanted to fight nico montano you know but she the time frame didn't work for her so <laughs> when panning got signed to the ufc even though she got signed at 145 that was when that happened, I knew that my, I was going to get my rematch because it is one that I've been wanting for a long time. Um, so then they offered her, as soon as they said, no, Nico can't make that time frame, they're like, what about Panny? And I was like, F it done. I didn't care where it was. I didn't care what the time frame was. And then they were like, what about Moscow? <laughs> but sick, I've never been to Russia either. So it was kind of like, it almost feels like the perfect fight to come back off, off an injury on because... You know, I, I've already, I have fought Panny. I fought her years ago, and even though I lost to her, it's not like I'm not going into a fight completely, like, without any knowledge. You know, I have I have experienced what it's like to fight her before, so I feel like that kind of gives me a little extra confidence to what I usually feel. I'm always super confident, but again, having already, almost already been this, been through this exact situation, just now I'm getting paid more. Like, I yeah, I'm excited for it. To be honest, I don't think her and I have enough of a backstory or enough interest in us for it to even warrant a trilogy, regardless of how it goes. I might ask for it if she beats me again, but uh, yeah, when I win, I, I don't think that there's enough. Maybe I need to create some more hate or I need to create more issues between us for it to be justified having a trilogy, but I, I don't know. I just want that win back. That's it.